Now, let us make our own cell with the simple metals available around us. Click each tab to know more. Place two injection bottles, two rubber caps, metal strips of copper and zinc, diluted sulfuric acid, H2SO4 bottle, LED and connecting wires on the experiment table. Note, break and open the discharged dry cell. Cut two strips of size 2 mm wide and 5 cm long from the outer metal covering that is zinc metal. Cut two thick copper wires of length 5 cm. Remove the coating on both ends with a sand paper. Take one copper strip and one zinc strip. Insert them in one rubber cap vertically. Once again, take one copper and one zinc strip. Insert the rubber caps in the injection bottles. Note, the two metal strips in both the caps should not touch each other. Pour the dilute sulfuric acid in both the injection bottles. Insert the rubber caps in the injection bottles. Take a wire and connect the zinc strip of one bottle to the copper strip of the other bottle. Connect two wires of the remaining copper strip of one bottle and the zinc strip of the other bottle. Now take an LED. Connect the zinc strip wire to the long pin of the LED and the copper pin wire to the short pin of the LED. The LED does not glow. Now reverse the LED connections and observe the changes. We observe that the LED does not glow in the first connection. But when the connections are reversed, the LED glows. Also, we observe that bubbles formed on the copper rod because the zinc dissolved in the sulfuric acid. We have learned that a small electric current is produced in the cell. The zinc dissolves in the sulfuric acid and accumulates on the copper.